Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... Sixteen days and... Four decades. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. This vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be further instructed there. Good luck. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the Enrichment Center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the Enrichment Center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way to exit the chamber. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a nice cube in the present but will bringing automatically a present cube to the, the location future violates the, same the cube laws of causality in the future and is therefore impossible. This future version of the cube can be moved freely. Good. 
Please continue to the next chamber. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Always remember, 
If you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Good. By now, you hopefully understand the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents the triple portal device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this.
Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Outstanding! Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Great! The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. <laughs> 